The next time you fly a long-haul international flight, your thoughts might shift to the Gosling engines next to you. Thousands of litres of fuel are burned to fly yourself and tons of cargo around the world for a comparatively low ticket price. But how much fuel does a plane need, and what does it cost? Apart from the size and efficiency of the plane itself, other factors affecting fuel use include sector length, taxi time, cargo weight, weather, and more. Aircraft don't always fill up their tanks to maximum unless they fly near their max range. After all, a plane also needs to burn fuel to transport the remaining fuel in its tanks, so the less surplus, the better. Some airlines choose to fill up enough fuel to make 1.5 trips and simply refuel the plane on its return journey. However, refueling a plane is complex and can delay an aircraft's departure, especially a full tank top-up such as a wide-body aircraft. In a process known as fuel tankering, some flights will have enough in the tanks to make the return trip and then some. This is particularly common on shorter flights where fuel is cheaper at the home airport than it is at the destination. With the present downturn excluded, the United States air carriers under normal market conditions burn through 17 billion gallons of jet fuel annually, a number that has remained consistent over the years. This is because aircraft and engine makers have been developing more fuel-efficient equipment even as air travel has continued to grow. But how much does fuel cost for a given flight? Well, here are some example destinations put together by the Points Guy. The figures represent how much airlines spent on fuel on average in 2019. New York JFK Airport to London Heathrow – $27,270 Flying back to New York from London Heathrow, $33,411. New York JFK to LAX, 5,325 gallons, costing $10,757. LAX to Tokyo Narita, 9,500 gallons, costing $19,190. Chicago to Miami, 2,350 gallons, costing $4,747 and Miami to Chicago, 3,565 gallons, costing $7,201. The return journey north to Chicago costs more fuel, almost 1,000 gallons more, believed to be due to the congestion of landing at a major airport. A good estimation is that a narrow-body aircraft like the Boeing 737 operates at around $1,500 per hour. You'll notice that the flight from London to New York costs more than the flight heading east. That's a clear example of how flying in a jet stream can affect fuel burn. Heading east, aircraft can ride a North Atlantic jet stream, which will propel the aircraft forward. Flying west, an aircraft is fighting this same force and burns extra fuel to do it. Interestingly, a British Airways 747 set a speed record crossing the Atlantic. Propelled by a jet stream which was supercharged by a major storm system, the aircraft achieved a New York to London time of 4 hours and 56 minutes. This allowed the aircraft to reach speeds of 825 miles per hour or 1,327 kilometers per hour. Are you surprised at how much fuel is consumed during a flight? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.